it comes back to my earlier point about what we value. Mo this is moral. If you value prediction, then the black box is great. And we all value prediction up to a point. But some of us also value other things too. <laughs> and uh, if you value those other things, understanding and explanation, consequence, invention, creativity, then they're not so great. And um, I think this is a social debate a discussion. I think it is the responsibility, to be honest, of people like us to show people the value of those other things. There is great pleasure to be had in understanding things. Um, there's great pleasure to be had in being creative. Um, and I'm optimistic about technology in that respect. I always thought, if you think about games like Minecraft, I mean, why is Minecraft so fascinating to kids and, and adults? Because you develop an understanding of the physics. So you can build things that the designers didn't build for you. That's a world away from other software interfaces where you're given everything and you have no access, access to the underlying mechanics. The, we want that access. We want to understand how things work because we want to build new things. If we're, a, if we're a, uh, an inventive and creative society, we need to have access to the, to the inside of the black box. Um, and if you just look at kids, they enjoy it. There's a love of that. There's a, there's a pleasure in that. Um, I think if we really forfeit that, then it's all over. The discussion is being had, and I think there are certain economic interests that want to convince us that that's desirable, <laughs> but I think we're too clever to accept it. I think the kids are too clever to accept it, and I think the creative people are too clever to accept it because they understand what allowed them to succeed, and it was taking apart, ripping apart the black box. It was seeing what this wire did when you connected it to that one, seeing what that cog did when you connected it to that lever and to that gear. I mean, we're curious people, and we like to take things apart to understand how they work. And sometimes we can't reassemble them, um, but we always learn something. And for someone to tell us that the ultimate value is prediction using someone else's instrument um, is not compelling, I think, to the great majority of people. Once they've in learned how to enjoy that exploration, if you deny them that, then they'll never know what they're missing. And I think there are economic forces that would like us to not know what we're missing, uh, but it's our role to defy them. <laughs>